But first this afternoon, breaking news, Michelle Carter guilty of manslaughter. The judge deciding Carter knew what she was doing when she texted her boyfriend, Conrad Roy, telling him to get back into his truck and take his own life. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado has been covering the trial every step of the way and joins us now live in Taunton. Steph? A major decision here, the judge deciding to convict Michelle Carter of involuntary manslaughter and the death of her boyfriend, Conrad Roy III. Carter was visibly upset, crying in the courtroom as the judge announced his verdict. Now, the judge was not required to explain his verdict, but he did so anyway. He specifically said it wasn't just the text messages she sent encouraging Conrad Roy to kill himself, but it was the moment she told him to get back in his truck that was filling with carbon monoxide on that July night. The judge said knowing full well that he would follow her order and that he would die. Also, the judge said he considered her actions that followed Roy's death, not calling the police or Roy's family, even though she knew where he was and what he had planned to do. Consequently, this court has found that the Commonwealth has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that Ms. Carter's actions and also her failure to act where she had a self-created duty to Mr. Roy since she had put him into that toxic environment, constituted each and all wanton and reckless conduct. The judge also said he did not find Dr. Peter Bregan credible. That was the expert witness hired by the defense, a psychiatrist who testified that Michelle Carter was involuntarily intoxicated when she sent those text messages. The judge did not buy that witness's explanation. Now, Michelle Carter will be allowed to remain out on bail until her sentencing on August 3rd. We are waiting for her to exit the courthouse right now. And we're also expecting the attorneys on both sides of this case uh, to react to the ruling in a news conference that is set up in inside the courthouse. So a lot of reaction to gather. You want to stay with Eyewitness News for the very latest tonight at 5 and 6 and of course on WPRI.com. Reporting live in Taunton with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.